Yo, what's up, motherfuckers? Today I'll be playing Amnesia, the Dark Descent. I've got my profile here. Um, I actually recorded a little bit, but it was all in vain. So, because I didn't have the audio turned on. So that sucked, and now it should all be fixed. Um, I'd like to apologize in advance if there's any audio problems in this episode, or in the, because I record in sessions. Oh, I'll be quick. So I'd like to apologize in advance if there's any audio problems in these first couple episodes because I record in sessions and then you break it apart. Uh, it will be fixed. I got a microphone I'm testing out and all. So I'd like to explain a couple things. I have played half of this game, but I don't remember a lot about it. It's been since it's released in 2010. But people have been messaging me asking me to play... Amnesia Machine for Pigs, and I said, sure thing, I'll play that game, no problem, after I play the first one. So, I've never actually finished the game, but that's my goal now, and since it is just about to be October, I'm planning on this series cutting into October, and it'll all be fun and dandy. So, got a message in the notebook here, memento, follow the liquid trail and find its source, alright. I'm not gonna... Since I have played some of this, I know where some of the scares are, but I don't remember all of them, but I know that, not accusing anyone of anything, but there are a few uh, select YouTubers, really good YouTubers too, that fake some reactions. But I'm not doing that. When I know something's going to happen, you'll know. I'll tell you. I'll be like, mm, something happens here. Like, I knew that was going to happen. And there's a tinderbox in here. See? I know. And in here, I don't remember if there is anything. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, there was. There's a bottle. Alright. Wait. There we go. So, it's my favorite month of the year month. Alright, well, let's not break physics this early in the game. Alright. Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Is this a push door? No. I've got to put down my broom. Well, yeah, it is. Just got me working. Oh, let's sweep the floor a little bit. It's the new way of sweeping. You older people wouldn't understand. See, picking up objects in this game is dangerous for someone like me because I think I have some form of hyperactive disorder. Wow! Ow! Ah! Oh, help me! Save me, broom! I love you. So, some backstory. Daniel. No! I'm not going in without my friend. This way. Daniel! character in the game that I am playing 
as of current, is a crazy motherfucker. And basically, he drunk a... You'll find out later in the game. He drinks a potion that gives him amnesia, hence the name. So he can't remember anything. But he remembers he's on a mission, thanks to himself. He himself put himself on a mission. That's pretty much the premise of the game. So you as the player are playing as Daniel and you know just as much as he does and these lights are about to go out. So this room was literally pointless. Traveling to Delver meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. So I'm going to be paying more attention to the storyline in this game. Because first time playthrough, I was just like, dude, heard this game super scary, man. Like Caleb from the channel, he's like, dude, this game's super scary. And you gotta play it. So I was just playing to get scared, not... I didn't give a shit. What's that noise? This motherfucker's going insane, damn! Oh, my ear was itch. Itching, my trigger finger was itching. So for those of you that have played this, you're going to see me get pretty scared. For those of you that haven't played this, you're going to see me get pretty scared. And you'll have, hopefully, a new love for horror games. Because I, such as many others, love them. But I do become a... I can be a pretty big scaredy cat. Always shut doors behind you, that's my tip of the day. In fact, to go the extra mile, try to get through that. Yeah. Impenetrable fucking fortress over there. I feel like I forgot a note. I don't remember. I don't care. Whoa. Pretty cool lighting effect, actually. That's the you've done good music. So I'm going to try to let the notes read themselves. Um, one problem I had in the last recording was I muted my microphone while I was, ha while I was reading, my older one, and uh, really screwed me over because there was this buzzing that was so annoying. Oh, I wasn't supposed to pull that yet. Go back up. But there was a buzzing that made the video completely unenjoyable, so I deleted it, basically. So here we go. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, I can't tell you why, but no this. I, too, forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner tank, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for 
So that's that. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at the Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Oh, so there's a lot of reading in this game. So I'm probably going to read all of it. And, and that way if you don't... Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In the manner of speaking, come bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. So as you go through the castle, he starts to remember certain events that happened at certain places. Because the potion didn't completely wipe his memory. But, you know, it got rid of a good portion of it. I forgot about that part happening. <laughs> um. Ooh. I never noticed that. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you don't like me reading, you can skip through it, but the reason I do that is because if people do want me to read and I don't read, you know, they don't have an option. So. Alright, I know I have to go here first, the archives. So, this is one of the scariest games, I'd say ever because oh the other children cheered him on his name voiced in a steady steadily rising pace urging him to do it am I really doing this the young boy thought I couldn't finish that anyways this is one of the scariest parts in the game actually the archives I'm not making that reference but I would say this is one of the scariest games of all time because it doesn't scare you so much with jump scares and whatnot. Those there's are in the game, but that's not the main focus of the game. The main focus of the game is to psychologically scare the shit out of you. Like these doors, as you notice, because I played a pretty good, you know, section of the game. I know that they kind of signal vulnerability. And so I shut them and I board them up and I protect myself. Because I'm scared. And I don't exactly remember where all the scares are. So, note. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenberg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Alright. And it's really, it's really interesting. It almost feels like you're being studied when playing this game because... Well, this feather doesn't give a shit about laws of physics. Pretty much... It feels almost like you're being studied because I cling to items to offer me a sense of relief. Carrying around like a chair makes me feel better than walking alone. Herbert managed to find the location in these vast 
into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the buried chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from you, the dig should be of something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Alright. I swear I heard something outside my window that was going on. But I'm hoping it was in the game. This is at the point where the game gets really scary. And this is where I stopped my last playthrough. Because this is absolutely terrifying. So, to get the episode out as soon as possible, this first episode, I'm ending this episode here. So that I can get it out since the channel's been lacking content lately. So, thank you all for watching. I am not ready for this game, but we're going to play it and we're going to love it. So, see you next time.